So the 10th university in our list is Vignan University. So you can see the various B.Tech CSC courses offered by Vignan University in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, you have to give VSAT which is University 1 entrance exam or JE mains or AP EAP set. So the median package for B.Tech is 4 lakhs per annum according to NIRF data 2023. So the 9th university in our list is Siddhartha Academy of Higher Education which is previously known as VR Siddhartha Engineering College. So you can see the various B.Tech CSC courses offered by Siddhartha Academy of Higher Education in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, you have to give AP EAP set or you can get admission through management quota. So the median package for B.Tech is 4 lakhs 50 thousand per annum. So the 8th university in our list is JNTU Kakinada. So in JNTU Kakinada, it was offering B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering. So to get admission for this course, you have to give AP EAP set. So the median package for B.Tech is 4 lakh 50 thousand per annum. So the 7th university in our list is Sri Venkateswara University, Tirupati. So Sri Venkateswara University is offering B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. So to get admission for this course, you have to give AP EAP set. So the median package for B.Tech is 4 lakh 75 thousand per annum. So the 6th university in our list is Geetam University. So you can see the various B.Tech CSE courses offered by Geetam University in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, we have to give GAT which is University 1 entrance exam or JE mains or TSM set or APM set. So the median package for B.Tech is 4 lakh 80 thousand per annum. So the 5th university in our list is Mohan Babu University. So you can see the various B.Tech CSE courses offered by Mohan Babu University in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, we have to give MBU set which is University 1 entrance exam or JE mains or JE advanced or you can get admission through any state level exams. So the median package for B.Tech is 5 lakh 30 thousand per annum. So the fourth university in our list is Andhra University. So you can see the various B.Tech CSE courses offered by Andhra University in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, you have to give AUWT which is University 1 entrance exam or you can get admission through AP EAP set. So the median package for B.Tech is 5,90,000 per annum. Before proceeding with this video, I would like to thanks to the sponsor of this video, GetCollegeAdmission.com. GetCollegeAdmission.com is an admission consultancy where they will provide admission guidance to the top private universities in India. They have 20 plus counselors to guide you during your application process or admission process. So if you have any doubt regarding any particular exam, counseling process or any query related to any particular college, you can contact them. I will provide the website link as well as contact number in the screen as well as in the description. You can check from there. So the third university in our list is KL University Vijayawada. So you can see the various B.Tech CSE courses offered by KL University in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, you have to give KL Tribly which is University 1 entrance exam or JE mains or AP EAP set or you can get admission through board marks. So the median package for B.Tech is 8,55,000 per annum. So the second university in our list is SRM University Amravati. So you can see the various B.Tech CSE courses offered by SRM University in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, you have to give SRM JEEE or SRM APET. So the median package for B.Tech is 9 lakhs per annum. So the number one university in our list is VIT Amravati. So you can see the various B.Tech CSE courses offered by VIT Amravati in the screen. So to get admission for these courses, you have to give VITRIBLY or you can get admission through AP EAP set. So the median package for B.Tech is 14 lakhs 40 thousand per annum.